A shout out to Banggood.com for providing us the Tick Watch 2, both in the basic version and in the metal band version you're about to see in this series on watch face design. Check the show notes down below for a buying link to pick up yours. Greetings and welcome back to Smartwatch Ticks. You're watching an evolving series on watch face design for Android Wear type of watches and the Tick Watch 2, which isn't exactly Android Wear, but it's what we've got to work with. Thanks, Banggood, for sending it to us. We've done um, a review of uh, how we've modified text so far on these watch faces. We've also taken a look at how to modify the backgrounds uh, on these watch faces. First of all, let you know that um, the first class we did this one, the second class uh, we actually did this one. I made that one and then uh, showed you how to modify from here to here. And I've renamed that Smartwatch Ticks number 2A. Identical, but slightly different because we've got the little two marks. Remember on that for the evolving second hand? We modified that. Now I made a copy of this one and I've called it Smartwatch Tix 3. These are identical right now and this is the one we're going to work with. So let's key off of this, see where we go. We've got it up here. We're going to customize the watch. And now I'm going to show you some things that you can do with this text. If you notice, the text is like really full in here. It takes up the whole circle. Let's modify it some. We know we can shift it to the left and the right by sliding. We did that with the date and the time. We um, have things called gyro effects, which, all right, let's show you that. Maybe we'll add a little gyro. Notice when I pick up the phone and I move it, nothing happens. If I increase the gyro effect a bunch, and I move it around, it slides all over the place. Pretty wild, huh? Let's go back down to maybe, I don't know, 10, something like that. Hard to do with that finger, I can't see my numbers. 20, 10, okay. At 10, it does move a little bit, see? When you move the phone around. Or the watch, actually, of course it's gonna go out to the watch. So we're going to use, uh, use that little gyro effect. Our text size is where we could increase and decrease the size. But instead of making the whole thing a little smaller, I'm going to play with this one called the Anna Anim scale. In X, I can make it a little narrower if I want to, or a whole lot narrower. I could also make it taller, a whole lot taller. Interesting, huh? So let's... Uh, Let's make that 125 by a little wider. Doesn't fill the whole circle, but a little bit like that. You like that? Let's move it off and take a look at it. Heck, let's send it to the watch, see how it looks differently. Let's first of all take a look at this one. There. It's a little nicer. I like. It's a little bit taller, a little bit narrower. Fits nice and cleanly within the circle. Okay, so you just learned how you can modify and play with text either by changing the size or adjusting the X and Y scale. Well, does this look finished to you? Is there something missing? Yeah, there's something missing right up here. There's nothing here. Now you're going to learn some of the best parts of all. But before we go there, notice that when it goes dim like this, what it looks like? If I touch this, nothing happens right here. But if I touch and go back out of the editing mode to the full view and touch this, it gives me the, the ambient or the dimmed display. Isn't that nice? So let's uh, get back into customizing. And we're in the ambient mode now for customization. And let's click on here and let's change the color for dim a blue, maybe a lighter blue, brighter blue, like that. Okay, now let's send that to the watch. There's our regular full bright color. And again, this isn't doing anything here, but if I come back here and touch it, it will show you that when it dims down, which it'll do in just a second, it's now blue. Okay, 
Now, while we're here, I want to show you something else. In addition to be able to see these things, you see that little button up there? If I touch that, it brings me into a time machine mode, and that lets me move and see what will happen in fast speed if I want to watch the changes I've made over time. Much more efficient if you're looking at an analog watch and you want to see where the hands might cross over uh, words that you've put and reposition them so they don't interfere with reading that capability. But you have this whole time machine thing that can scoot way into the future over and over again and give you a feel for how your watch is going to behave. Interesting, huh? All right. Let's dive back into the custom watch area. Let's get to what I wanted to show you. And that is creating a whole new text area. Let's call it new. And there it is. And I can move it up and down. Let's move it up. You press the down to go up right here and it's already centered and we could change the text size we've done all that kind of stuff right and there now we move off of this we've got a new layer but what if we don't want it to just be a text it's called a uh, text layer new if i go in here i could change it to be something different for example battery if I wanted to show my battery level in percentage, I touch that, it brings in the code for that, I say done, and now look, I've added battery percentage to the watch. If I send that out just as it is, the watch is going to take on the battery percentage in white with the percent sign at that particular size. So this is basically how you can add anything that you want and there's a lot of stuff you could add right here. Color switcher is if you're going to be changing colors of something. Let's say you wanted to be changing the color of the uh, time. You could do that. Um, counter is if you're going to count seconds elapsed since it was loaded. Um, all sorts of options and down into different levels of seconds. And this is an example of what they look like. Time zone you can mess around with. Battery phone, device, your device name, manufacturer, these kind of things, uh, true and false, conditions, a millisecond since bright, that's different. Let's see what that looks like. Done. Okay, that's the number of milliseconds since bright. Wow. Hmm. Okay, uh, let's keep going. Stopwatch. This is one I use a lot. In fact, I'll show you one uh, in, a, in another project where we design and develop a, a stopwatch that you have separate control over the display of hours, minutes, and seconds, milliseconds, and uh, three-digit milliseconds, and so forth. All of these options are available to you if you'd like to build a stopwatch right into the watch face. Okay. What else? Below stopwatch, we have weather. After weather, we have a calendar. You can mess around with events in a calendar. Again, some of this will work in wear. Uh, all of it should work in wear. Some of it will work in the tick watch, which isn't fully compliant with wear yet. Uh, and complications for AW 2.0 plus and working with tasker. And each of these things have canned uh, tags that will pop up here that you can insert whenever uh, you want to add that function that you've put in a, uh, a layer. So what I'm gonna do here is mess around a little bit more with the battery and go back down and take a look at some other options. You have battery temperature that you can display and you have a battery charging status and I'm going to play with a battery temperature. That's always interesting. 
Once you memorize these, you can actually type this up with the keyboard bracket and then the command and then close bracket. That's the one we'll take. We'll say done. And there we go. And again, if you wanted to, once you have it there, you can change the color. You can make sure that it's not showing up on the uh, dim display, but bright only and you can export that whole thing to your watch. There you go. So we're going to wrap it up for this um, particular project of the uh, Eclipse. Well, active time. <laughs> yep, it's time for me to get up and take some walk. I want to take some walk here. There we go. We started with this Eclipse design. And I got to keep touching the buttons because it goes out quickly. We have modified it by playing with the text. We've modified it by messing around with the background. We've added an element and we've even added a button on it. So there's a lot you can do with this in future editions of this little workshop. I'm going to just take a project and play with it and let you see how it evolves into a finalized watch face. You've been watching Smartwatch Ticks. We've got a lot of fun stuff here. If you haven't subscribed, I encourage you to do so. We will constantly be posting reviews of watches. We have whole workshops on watch face design for pure Android watches. And now you know how to design for Android Wear and the Tick Watch. We'll see you again soon. This series is being brought to you by Banggood.com, who is providing us the Tick Watch 2s, both the regular uh, version here and the metal band version we're developing our new watch faces on. Check the show notes down below. Pick up a... a, 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 a.